Thank you, Maria. The holiday season got off to an early start at the Boys and Girls Club Family Center in Springfield with their annual community Thanksgiving dinner. Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey now joins us live in studio after checking out today's event. Olivia. Matt, organizers tell me they worked for days preparing the Thanksgiving feast for hundreds of people, and the community's gratitude makes it worth it. Sunday afternoon, locals headed to the Boys and Girls Club Family Center to break bread ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday. Kashawn Dodds, executive director of the Boys and Girls Club Family Center, tells Western Mass News everyone was welcome. They hold the dinner every year to give a positive boost to people who struggle during the holiday season. You know, the holidays is very hard. You know, you lose a lot of people and people fall into a, you know, a seasonal depression. And so we try to get people together to fellowship and have a good time and just be around people. You know, you hear a lot of laughter and a lot of fun and just to get you in a good mood about the holidays. Inviting the entire city for dinner is not an easy task. Dodd says due to the generous donations of food and manpower, guests enjoyed a homemade holiday meal with staples like turkey and mac and cheese. Volunteer Rufus Judge Kennard III tells Western Mass News making someone's day better makes their efforts worth it. It's uh, it, it's heartwarming. Um, it's it's gratification um, like like none other. Uh, when people come and say thank you and this was good, it's it's really very very re rewarding. Other volunteers add that giving back is something we all should do year round, especially during the holiday season. Thanksgiving is a giving time, and so it is a key time that we do give back, and it's highlighted to just help our community, empower our community, and serve our community. And so that's what we want to do, and it is important to us that the community knows we are here for them. Before leaving, people were encouraged to take meals home with them to share with their loved ones. Officials say they expected to serve between two and 300 people today. Reporting in studio, Olivia Hickey, Western Mass News.